We've done determination, now we're going to look at work rate, which in my opinion is another key attribute when a wonder kid is attempting to achieve their potential. Of course there's hidden attributes that take effect, but some of the front facing attributes, determination, work rate, they're key in my opinion, and they are the attributes that I look at and I want in my wonder kids. So today we've got a full squad with one work rate. Let's go. So here we go then, it is Ebsfleet United that we've chosen for today's video with a 90 current ability, 200 potential ability and one for work rate. And as you can see, eagle eyed viewers will see all the same regen faces that we had here before because I'm not doing a different squad for all these videos. So a lot of these players you will see multiple times going forward, but we will change it at some point periodically. But for now, this is the group of players because... Well, quite frankly, one, I haven't got the time to replace them all every single time because it is quite lengthy and time consuming. But two, I haven't got the bloody fast hours on mid journey to the replenishers. I've been messing about with other images. More to come soon. Anyway, Ebsfleet United are 11th in the Vanarama National League, of course, on alphabetical order. The season preview says they are going to finish top of the league 8 to 13 on. And that's all there is to it. Uh, well, there you go. We've got work rate in the column there for one. Jack Wakeley, he's here, apparently. 77 out of 103 he is. He's not going to play, is he? But the, like I say, 90 out of 200. Will these guys do better than the No Determination squad? My prediction right now, because I've not looked at the results here, my prediction is yes, they will. Because I think work rate's going to increase more than Determination did as well. Because it is an attribute that does improve when you do like training focus on endurance and stuff. So yeah, I think it probably will. But enough waffling, let's jump through to the end of the first season and see how they got on in the Vanarama National League. Well, there you go then. Ebsfleet finished eighth in Ebsfleet centre forward three with 16 goals. The top goal scorer only got 17 and it was Dippo Akinyemi, a name that we are going to become very familiar with, I believe, because he was in the top goal scoring charts a lot in the previous experiment with determination. If you've not seen it, go and watch it. After this one, of course. A defensive midfielder one got 10 assists. Fair play to him. But yeah, they finished eighth. They finished eighth, which is way off the pace, considering that in the season preview, they thought they were going to be eight to 13 on. It changed to two to nine, which is that better? I don't know odds. I'm not a gambling man. But there you go. They finished eighth. So they've not been promoted. So Gary Mills will be in charge this coming season because Denis Kutrieb got sacked. Why was Denis Kutrieb sacked? I hear you ask. Sacked as manager of Ebsfleet due to the club's poor league position on the 1st of the 1st. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Dennis. Don't come back. Harsh. Where were they? Bromley. They were down in 13th. Do you know what? The changing manager worked. I'll give him that. The changing manager did work. Although maybe the players were improving and they started to get a little bit better. Oh, well. 97 is the very minimum. So they've, so they've all improved by at least 7, but 114 for defend, for Ebsfleet centre midfield 3 with his luscious lock over here he's turning into quite the player he's a player that could be um moving through the gears he's actually moved up to two work rate as well as old ebsfleet cm3 forgot to mention at the start of course they've all got a future transfer to saudi arabia that goes without saying from my experience but if you're new around here you've got a future transfer so they can't be sold and also ebsfleet as a club have a transfer embargo until that date so the only players that are ever going to come in are players that are going to come in through the youth facilities and youth recruitment. And as you can see, the youth recruitment and facilities are abysmal for Ebsfleet. So I can't see them breaking into the squad, really. It's the fairest way of doing it, I believe, to avoid outside interference. Because we've done experiments on the channel where we have had players get signed and it's sort of skewed up all the data. So yeah. Eighth was this season and disappointing, but they've really kicked on in terms of ability. Like 114 is insane for this level. I mean, it's like, like League 2, maybe League 1 level. So so they're going to go up surely, but we will find out. So yeah, we're going to go through another year to see if they can get promoted at their second time of asking. But before we do, if I can make a big public service announcement, say thank you to everyone who's subscribed recently and the channel to go through the roof in terms of views. It's gone insane in the last couple of weeks. And thank you very much for uh, everyone who's tuned in and subscribed. If you haven't subscribed and you're new around here or you've come back a couple of times and you've not subscribed, please do subscribe, making that big push for five thousand a lovely little milestone that will make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside so since it's nearly christmas come on well 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 ebsfleet getting promoted via the playoffs gateshead going up automatically we've got no one in the top goal scorers charts but winger three and winger four in the top three average rating players player of the match ebsfleet winger three got eight player of the matches he's very very good still got one for work rate though that's 
you know, not boding well. Finishing second in the Vanuama National League when they should have 91 to 1 on. I mean, that's probably improved over the season because the players have continued to improve as well. But 91 to 1 on is mental. They've won in the 90th minute, a 90th minute penalty, no less. Injuries all over the place. It was a very frosty game, wasn't it? But a 90th minute penalty for Ebbsfleet. The drama at Wembley and they find themselves in the Football League. Cosby finished second. They beat York 3-0 in the semi-final as Solihull Moors dispatched of Chesterfield. And yeah, so in terms of the league table, Gateshead nearly threw it away. A loss and two draws in the final three games as Ebbsfleet won all three. I don't think this made too much difference with Solihull Moors faltering because at the end of the day, Ebbsfleet went up via the playoffs. Ebbsfleet nearly nicked it. Another couple of games and I think they'd have got it. Another couple of games I think they would have got it. In terms of past positions, oh my word. They were awful down here. They were down in 16th after match week 12. Gary Mills kept his job though. Gary Mills was given the time. He's only gone and won the FA Trophy as well. Look at that. A 3-1 win against Eastleigh and it was a formality. Two goals in the opening 12 minutes. Centre forward two got his second on 69. Nice. And then Jake Taylor may got one back for Eastleigh late on. Well, they're going to be in lead two. So in terms of the squad, if we look over the squad, wow. 97 still for one, 98 for another, and then over 100 for everyone. 125 up here for Ebbsfleet goalkeeper one. No youth caps yet, but I'm sure they are coming on the way. They are all 19 years young and work rates moved from one to two on quite a few players but no higher than two Richard Cooper has got the entire squad and he's never going to have to do anything because they've all locked in he's got Jesus Trent Andrew Robinson Kante load of players from Borough and the entire Ebbsfleet squad Ebbsfleet centre back five is in the reserves why he's in the reserves I don't know whatever anyway in League 2 so can they go up at the first time of asking in League 2 let's jump forward another season and find out they can gone up as champions no less by three points from Peterborough but inside oh Exeter game promoted over Swindon I think on goal difference if that's how they do it in this league it looks like it Ebbsfleet winger three and Ebbsfleet right back two the top two average rating in terms of goals Ebbsfleet winger three down here in 14 there is no one no centre forward for Ebbsfleet has scored many goals I'm not sure why are they playing strikeless formation they did get a goal difference of 31 in terms of the league table wow Look at that for an end to the season. Three defeats and two draws in the last five games. They nearly threw it all away. And they've been top since match week 15. Been top since match week 15. If we look at the actual schedule, Gary Mills is loving life. Look at that. Awful. Had a very good start to the season as well. Getting up there and then losing the odd point up for draws and losing the odd game. And then the last five games were just abysmal. But they'd, they'd basically done enough. Three, they won by three points and you got two points in the last five games so with five games to go they'd already got promoted I think unless Peterborough faltered which they might have done which they did yeah two, de two, two defeats and a draw themselves old Peterborough and Swindon look at that three defeats and a draw and they lost out on goal difference that is heart breaking for them in terms of the actual squad themselves then 99 for Ebsley Winger 2 who got 14 appearances off the bench and 4 starts Ebbsfleet goalkeeper one is absolutely flying at 139. He has been under 21 capped by England and he's starting to round out into being a fantastic player. We've got our first player with three work rate. It is left back two and uh, centre mid two. Quite a few on two for work rate and the rest have still got one. But look at that. In the 120s and 130s for current ability. In terms of season preview, yeah, they were 91 to 1 on. Entire squad was basically them apart from the wide players because we don't play them. They haven't got players that can play there. It is what it is. We will again just jump through a singular year to see if they can go up at the first time of asking in League 2. So let's go to 2027. Oh, here we go. They've gone up on penalties. They've gone up on penalties in the playoff final. I'm just going to say Rotherham have gone up as champions, but. Ebbsfleet finishing third. The season preview said 91-1 to 1 on, so the fact they finished third was pretty disappointing, really. If you look at past positions, where were they? They made a bit of a late push. They were doing quite bad early season. Gary Mills has retained his job, and they've gone up on penalties. They beat Charlton 3-2 on aggregate. A 90th minute goal for Ebbsfleet centre forward one. It's always the drama. It's either last minute drama or penalty drama, and this season had both. As they went up 
on penalties and Josh Caroma missed a penalty in normal time for Huddersfield. Absolute heartbreak. He scored in the shootout, but it was not enough. 5-4 to Ebbsfleet. In terms of the squad then, we're looking over them and look at that. 1-5-3. Few in the 140s, loads in the 130s and we've got the 120s and we've got Dominic Staines here, 86 out of 136, whatever. In terms of work rate, sod off Dom. Threes, twos and quite a few ones, but there's quite a few threes coming through. But it's not flying out of the stratosphere, is it? It's you know, not going too well. Under 21's international duty for all these players, though. Uh, Woking, uh, Ebbsfleet, sorry. Ebbsfleet have got a lot of players in the under 21's, understandably. Understandably, because they've got very high current ability. And they've gone up from League 2 at the first time of asking via the playoffs. So they're going to be in the Championship. I don't think they're going to go up in the Championship the first time of asking. So we're going to jump through. We're going to go through two years to 2029 20, now. They're going to be 23 years old. They'll be starting getting capped by England. They'll improve even more. Let's see how they're getting on. Well, there we go then. First season in the Championship, Ebbsfleet finished in 10th, 66 points. And the season preview says they were going to finish... Sorry, this is the current season. Current season says they're going to finish uh, top two. Not littered throughout the entire league, unfortunately. Um, and the most recent season, they finished 18th. Finished 18th. Gary Mills has gone. Juan Reynoso, who we signed as a centre-back... In our Blackburn save, the synergy on the channel. Make it up, could you? Ebbsfleet managers sacked Gary Mills after five years and 37 days after he brought them up from the Vanarama National. Or was it League Two? No, he must have been the Vanarama National. Yeah, because he, Dennis Katrieb got sacked on the first um, first season and he went up in the second season. So he's come from the Vanarama National to the Championship and then they sacked him. He weren't doing great, which is fair, but as, as I'm sorry, that's harsh. Very harsh. And wow. So... Firstly, 168 for Ebbsfleet goalkeeper one. Still not being capped for the full national team. Ebbsfleet winger three, 156. There's loads on 156 here. Why is, Why are they all on 156? Not locked up there, have they? Top ended out. Uh, a few more in the 150s. And then we, none in the 140s, weirdly. We've gone straight down to the 130s and down all the way down. Ebbsfleet winger two on 100. Never playing though, is he? Poor guy. Uh, but in terms of work rate, as you can see here, Ebbsfleet left back two has actually got six for work rate. I should probably change the colours here to make it easier for you guys to see. I've just realised this. Next video, when we're doing these, I will change the colours to make it easy to see. I didn't realise that it, the greyed out attribute colour was because they were just so bad. Ebbsfleet left back has got, yeah, of course it is, a colour scheme. Work rate of six, he's got to six. Six under 21 caps, seven under 21 goals for Ebbsfleet centre forward one. But he's not scoring a lot. Is he 65 in 223 is not good enough. Although he's coming off the bench a hell of a lot. What tactic are Ebbsfleet playing? Centre forward 2. 70. Again, 70 in 233 is not good enough, is it? So there we go then. Everton, Brentford and Bristol City have gone up. Ebbsfleet should have gone up in terms of media prediction, thinking they're going to come second, and they finished 18th. So, not looking great, is it? Should we go another couple of years to 2031, see if we can finally make it to the Premier League? This team's arguably doing worse than determination, even though they've got better. I think, they've, I think that their current ability is, is higher. I don't know. Anyway, 2031, here we come. Okay, so they went up by the playoffs. They went up by the playoffs. They won 3-2 against Derby. Uh, won 3-2 in the first leg and drew 0-0 in the second leg. And in the final, they won 2-1 against Fulham. We can't look at the details for the fixture. Steve Cooper's in charge, which is a spoiler, because Juan Reynoso has been sacked in the Premier League. Although he finished 11th. Right, hang on. When did they sack him? Juan Reynoso uh, on 9th of the 11th. Why did they sack him then? Sacked due to the club's poor league position. Arsenal have won the league. First time they've won the league in this save game. Man City have won it every other year. So it's nice to see a change there. Wolves getting Europa League football. And past positions then. I mean, that was where they got sacked. After the 3-1 defeat to Man United. And they were in 17th. A team that, in my opinion, okay, this should be, should be finishing 8th, apparently. But, you know. Hey, Ebbsfleet goalkeeper won. He's in the Media Dream 11. And he's got 10 caps for England. Who's brought him up? It's Stefano Pioli. No Ralph. No Ralph yet. Where is Ralph? Oh, he's the manager of Ireland. And he has been for four years. Fair play. Go on, Ralph. So in the most recent season, there you go. We are looking at Ebbsfleet finishing in 11th. The media think they should have finished 8th, but not too bad. 
In terms of the squad then, hang on, Jude Bellingham's in the Premier League at Man with Man City. £312 million they paid Real Madrid after two years. £312 million. Wow. Unbelievable. This year you've got Lamine Yamal, Jamal Musiala, Julian Duranville. He's got pretty good. Benny Sesco's at Real Madrid. Superstar. £285 million from Liverpool. We've, we've gone off on bloody tangent here. Liverpool boy for £176 million. Insane over here in terms of the squad then. Uh, we're looking at... 177 for the goalkeeper, got 160s for a lot of the first team squad, a couple of 150s, quite a few, well, a few 140s, 120s, but the main first 11 are all in the 160s slash 170s. And look at that work rate, eight, couple of sevens, a few sixes, a five, a couple of fours, a few threes, a few twos, a few ones. But the players that are playing a lot, sorry, David Thomas, seven work rate, um, a point ability 33. What's he doing in the first team anyway? Enough of that. Um, work rate's improving massively. Are they going to go and win some trophies? They haven't won any yet. They haven't won any yet. Well, let's go through four years to 2035, see if they can kick on and get into Europe. Right, so there we are. We finished, finished 11th in the first season of the Premier League. And the following season, it was uh, one place better in 10th. And then we got the Conference League football by finishing 9th. So a lot happened here. Someone's has clearly won the Europa League or Champions League to get that Champions League qualification spot. Therefore, everything's knocked down further. And they've also won the domestic cups up here. So Conference League football for Ebbs Fleet, maybe a Carabao Cup. That's how, maybe how they got it. Who knows? Could we win the Conference League, though? Oh, we don't know, because they've got Europa League football by finishing in the Europa League spots. No Conference League spot available there, though. Maybe this season, 7th was the Conference League spot, and Ebbs Fleet have gone and won it so they go to Europa League. So they're not in it. We'll see. And then finishing 7th again, getting Champions League football. So they've won the Europa League. Right. We've got a Carabao Cup in 2033. Matthias Darm is Thomas Tuchel. Why is he called Matthias Darm? Oh, is this Bayern Munich stuff? Like Jens Freund instead of Oliver Kahn? Why is, what's happened here? I didn't know this was a thing. I did not know this was a thing. That's thrown me. I've, I've Right. Thomas Tuchel's in charge of Ebbsfleet. So, Ebbsfleet, Carabao Cup in 2033. So, they did win the Carabao Cup to get that Conference League spot. And then they won... They did not win the Conference League. So, they've won the Europa League most recently. Current winners of the Europa League beating Roma in the final. We'll look at that in a moment. But the Conference League in... Uh, so, if we look at profile stages final uh, last season sporting beat panathinaikos if we look at the tree of uh, knockout so where are ebsfleet ebsfleet weren't in it this season where the hell were we right didn't he say didn't he say they qualified for the um didn't we didn't we didn't we oh, didn't we qualify for the conference league what season was that conference league in 32 33 so 33 34 they should be in the conference league let's go and have a look at the bloody schedule Oh, they only got to the qualifying path. Fourth round and lost to FC20. I didn't even get it to the bloody Conference League. That's so embarrassing. Oh, they're in the Conference League. They should go and win it. They didn't even get to it. I didn't even know you had to qualify for the Conference League, to be honest. And then the following season, they've gone and won the bloody Europa League, beating Roma in the final, 2-0. Ebbsfleet centre forward, two with two goals. He's been loving life, he has. Representing. 7-11 for England. Zinedine Zidane's in charge. There's been no Ralph. He's still at Ireland. No, he's gone to become the manager of Austria. There's old Ralph. I think it's safe to say Ralph watches very much back, isn't it? After the other video. Ebbsfleet then finishing seventh and getting Champions League football by winning the com uh, winning the Europa uh, winning the Europa League. Easy for me to say. Uh, Matthias Darm's in charge. And in terms of the players, then we've got, wow. Current ability, 200 out of 200 for Ebbsfleet, goalkeeper one. He's got to 200 in those four years. He's 29 years old and he is absolutely amazing with four work rates. So he's got there. 61 caps for England, centre midfield uh, 3, 185. So they've not got all the way there, but look at how good they are. They're, they're an absolutely insane side. But look at the work rates. Nine, three eights, five sevens, a six, and the rest of fives, fours, threes, twos, and ones. And they're not winning trophies. They're not even breaking into the top four with players that are, look, 200, 185, 10 players in the 170s. 170 is a world is world class. Like 160 is pretty much world class. Like look, Ebsfleet defensive midfielder, he's fantastic. What a player he is. And he's like the 13th best player at the club. The fact that they're not doing anything, the work rate is really sort of hamstringing them because they've got a great manager in Matthias Darm. Right, I'm going to pause the video now and say, if you knew about that, leave it, let me know in the comments down below and let me know any other stupid names that they've got for people that they've changed because i know they used to change allegri didn't they for juve when they were zebra um jens freund's oliver khan anyone else let me know in the comments so yeah there's that 
In terms of international duty, then loads of them are on international duty with England. Nine are on international duty with England. Uh, Ebb Street right back's got 25 caps, two goals. The left back, 45 caps. Centre back, 20 caps. They've been they've been rocking around for a while. 2034, 2032. So in 2034, they've beaten Italy in the final and loads of the Ebbsfleet players did it. And again, even though it wasn't an Ebbsfleet win or an Ebbsfleet player that did it, a 94th minute goal is 90th minute drama everywhere in this video. Declan Rice with the goal. Let's watch it, shall we? Oh, I thought it was going to be a near post header. Saka. Bellingham. God, it's slow, isn't it? There we go. Oh, oh, awful defending in the 94th minute. You would be devastated at that. Absolutely devastated. Well... In 2035, um, the, like I say, the players are 29 years old. They've 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 really kicked on and they've got to some really good pote uh, current ability. Um, let's go through because that's going to start declining probably about 31, 32. So we're going to go through three years to 2038, which is our second to last stop in. If they've not won a trophy by now, the players are going to start declining and that's going to be it. They're not going to go and win more trophies. That's all I'm going to say. Well, they've not won the Premier League. Uh, so that, this is where we last here. And then we've gone 11th. Didn't even get into Europe. That first season of the Champions League. Uh, finished second, four points behind Man City in the 36-37 season. And then just finished sixth outside of Europe. Outside of the Champions League places, sorry, by two points. They lost two of their last five games. So did Everton, to be fair, though. So, Mateus Darm's been sacked. Yeah, he got sacked after 181 days. He was not there long. On slot, slotted himself into the manager's role. Then he left to go and become unemployed. No, he went to Newcastle and he's been sacked, I would assume. Vincenzo Montella has been in and been sacked. Oh, it's all been kicking off, hasn't it? In terms of the players, then, let's have a quick look over. He's dropped down to 199. 189 for Ebbsfleet centre midfield three. What a player he's become. 70 caps for England. All on international duty as well. Thiago Motta is in charge. No other tournament wins, fortunately. So 2036, they didn't win. Uh, no other trophies other than the Super Cup and the European South American Club Challenge. Although Southampton just won that, so it's not really something that's held in that high regard. But we've all we got is a Carabao Cup and Europa League so far. Disappointing. Right, 2045 is when they're all going to leave. Let's go to that point and see how they tailed off over the next seven years. And they are going to have an influx of cash as well. So we're going to go through and just go to the end. Here we go. Ebbsfleet, Dan Byrne is in charge. They are 18th in the Skybet Championship. They've just lost their last five games in a row. Firstly, let's have a look at the players. Current ability. I mean, still got a player on 152, the goalkeeper, who, how many goals? Caps, 153 caps for England. Unbelievable. Um, still got in the 130s. I mean, look at the work rate. The work rate's improved. Um, 12 for one of them. 11, 9, 8. So the work rate's improved, but it's been too little too late. They'd never, they didn't reach their full potential as a squad, which is disappointing, really. Very disappointing. But it is what it is. You're not gonna, you're not always going to reach your potential. And work rate, in my opinion, is one of those important attributes. So if we look at Ebbsfleet's competitions, they did, they've just come down. So the sixth, eighth, eleventh, ninth, nineteenth, twenty-seven points, and then they're now down in the championship and just finished eighteenth. In terms of managers, Enzo Fernandez has been in charge. He got sacked. Neil Harris also sacked. T and Cute Miners sacked. Jabby Alonso sacked. Eddie Howe, sacked. Just a who's who of um, managers just getting sacked. Dan Burns being here a day, writings on the wall. Charlie White was only there 108 days. Barely had time to sign his contract for a rental property, old Charlie. He's now he's now unemployed. Just, just, just The, the grey beard and hair combo just threw me off there. With, with what can only be said as one of the better regen faces in the game. Because some of them are awful. And we're still banging this drum. I'm going to keep going on about it. Because they're abysmal. Anyway. So absolutely about to get an absolute shed load of money. They've got a billion pounds in the bank as well. Uh, so Dan Byrne's going to have an absolute shed load of cash. He's got facilities for days, youth facilities, youth recruitment, junior coaching. They have been investing wisely. They've got a capacity of 20, nearly 27,000 for the Ebbsfleet Stadium. And yeah, I would say they're going to be back in the Premier League by the time we come back when we've simulated forward. So let's simulate forward and see how they did fared with all their money. But hang on a second. Before we do that, Europa League in 2039. Hello. You won the Europa League again in 2039. They're played to them. So two Europa Leagues and a Carabao Cup. That's it. Still not great, is it? Let's go forward. You guys have got 21 years. 21 years. They've got no manager. They're actually in the championship. So whatever they did with the money, transfer history. We go back to 44, 45, 123 million pounds in. Then 2.4 billion as they all left. And they spent 75 million pounds rebuilding that squad. And they needed to. And they, over the next few years, they really did start spending a bit of money. Although not, not massively not massively at all bringing in as much as they're selling to be perfectly honest here's a big one 170 to 89 but still he's got 2.4 billion expect a little bit more being spent well let's have a look at the competitions then 
Uh, they've yo-yoed. They've been up and down. They were down in the championship for a few years. They came up straight back down in 20th, then straight back up, straight back down, straight back up. Literally yo-yo back and forth, up, down, up, down, up, down. 18th and 1st for a few seasons in a row. Then a few seasons in the Premier League and then they've come back and they're now just at their second season in the championship as a mid-table team. So there we go, yeah. Only the one Carabao Cup win for them. No runners-up for them in that. In terms of the FA Cup, they did get runner-up in the FA Cup a couple of times in the 2030s. That's about it. Should we have a look at Golden Ball, the world golden ball. Of course, no one won the golden ball. Player of the year, of course, no one won player of the year. Goalkeeper of the year, even uh, Ebsfleet goalkeeper did not win goalkeeper of the year. Let's have a look at if we search for Ebsfleet. So we've still got Ebsfleet centre forward two is a coach at West Ham, and he's not a bad coach as well. Pretty good centre back two is also a coach again at Sheffield United this time, and he's got good attributes as well. Centre forward three is an under 18s coach, Benjamin Fear one. Wow, he's got some attributes, hasn't he? Head of youth development at LMK Dons, working with youngsters. Five. I mean, this is just infuriating. He's a great coach. Look at his uh, attribute points. He could be a scout with those. Maybe could be an assistant manager. Could be a manager. He's head of youth development with five working with youngsters. Like, honestly, he's got crap stats. Coach at Mansfield. Ebsfleet Barnes. So Ebsfleet's now a first name again. We like to see that, don't we? Ebsfleet Rutter is a chairperson. And that's it. That's the end of today's experiment. Ebsfleet are in the championship and they have been... They're down there. Ebsfleet Winger 3 is a club legend after scoring 173 in 849 appearances for them. Ebsfleet did very well, to be fair. They got to the Premier League, but work rate did have an impact and they did not go on to win as many trophies as, in my opinion, I think they should have done like I said with the other one we're going to do max work rate with this one as well just to see the disparity and just see the difference we're going to keep them with Ebsfleet and we're just going to run exactly the same sim exactly the same everything so they're going to come through as better players I would expect but that's the end of today's video I hope you've enjoyed yourself thank you very much for watching please do like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already making that big push as I said comment down below any ideas for the future that you've got anything I might have missed in this video or anything you would like me to uh, do and see going forward any tweaks you'd make to these kind of format of videos as well i'm all ears i'm always open to feedback so please let me know in the comments down below but while you're here go and watch another video on the channel and most importantly guys take good care of yourselves i'll see you soon